Hey buddy, today in this video, I'm about to show you guys how you can fix real-time protection is not able to turn on and if you try to turn this on like this, it will go back like that, right? So I have already solved this problem, so if you haven't solved yet, then I will show you how to do that. So you can see you will have something just looking like this. It should be like gray out or sometimes it's kind of like you can turn on and it's just turn it off itself and it will say like you are using other antivirus providers so in this case i have a solution for you so yeah let's get started if you have this issue then you guys are able to fix this problem as well so first uh you will need to remove some application that you have uh, you haven't installed or it looks suspicious like so go ahead and start and type your add or remove program and try to find a program that you haven't installed yourself or it looks like suspicious for you. Uh, just disclose the drivers or, you know, the Windows component or Microsoft components like that. And you will need to find something application that you haven't installed. Just go ahead and look through it. All right, just one by one, look through it. And then just simply uninstall by clicking here and uninstall this. All right, so I'm not going to uninstall this because I have already done that. So yeah, guys, if you try to find here, like there is some kind of nasty, vicious apps been running out on your computer, then you need to remove them first. So after you guys have done this, you will need to use regedit command that I will give you on the description down below or on my websites. All right. So open up the command that I have given to you. Uh, you can go ahead and download this command from my websites. So first, you will need to open up this as command prompt. All right, just make sure to run this as administrator. You can see, and you will get this like system32. All right. Now, what you guys wanted to do is you will need to uh, execute all of this command one by one, and also look at this. Uh, I will turn this real time protection off. All right. So dismiss this. All right, guys. So just split up and make it easy for you so execute this command one by one copy here and paste here so it will say like delete request is partially completed so it doesn't matter so just go ahead and try with second command and you should see like operation completed successfully and this is a third command so execute all of this command even it say like error for you so execute this one now and this one as well and disable anti-spyware just like that so in this case you need to uh, type your yes and this one command as well there we go copy here and paste it so do every single command one by one, just like I have done here. And this is the last command. There we go. So once you guys have done this, type here clear or exit. And you are now done. Now go ahead and check your uh, defender. You should be able to turn on your real-time protection. If not, then you will need to restart the computer and it should be good to go. And I hope this video solves your issue. If you haven't solved this problem already, uh, just comment down below. I will give you the another solution as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.